my good people of Abia State, with humility and great honor to the Almighty God, I have come here today to pay a special tribute to all of you, the good people of Abia State, for your wonderful support for me and all PDP candidates in the just concluded senatorial and Federal House of Representative elections held on the ninth day of April 2011. Reports reaching us from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, show that the election was both free and fair in our state, and that Abians diligently exercised their civic responsibilities and chose rightly. You chose PDP and you voted massively to return to office all our senators and the candidates of the Federal House of Representatives. I am gratified to observe that Abians demonstrated the fact that they know the importance of the issues in this first election, and you did not disappoint us. You have set the pace of solid support for PDP. You voted for the best candidates and you have made all Abians uh, very proud. You are all worthy Abians and truly so in your promise. I thank you immensely. With your resounding voices and actions in this recent election, Abians have once again demonstrated their commitments to the total liberation of our state from the clutches of impunities and undemocratic forces for which our opponents are notorious for. You have now set in full motion the reclamation of your Abian patrimony from the usurpation of one family dynasty. You have put the final nails on the political coffins of the Tormentors, whose stock in trade is to feed fat on our commonwealth. I heard your voice shouting, never again, and it shall be so truly. Our victories in the first pools is a clear testimony that Abians have chosen peace and security, chosen light from darkness, and now we can begin to cruise gallantly to the next level of Abian economic and social uh, development. My fellow Abians, this last election, which is also the first in the series, is a very crucial one. Uh, nevertheless, it is just the beginning of the journey. I urge you to keep the courage so that you can finish this race which you have started so well. We must improve on the overall voters thunder out in the remaining two elections, which include the presidential election on the 16th of April 2011 and the governorship election and the state House of Assembly elections which follow in succeeding week. That is 26 April of this month, uh, to be precise. Remember, Abians must not falter in their support to our government and all PDP candidates, from President Goodluck Jonathan to Governor Tieoji Ochendo, down to all our candidates in the State House of Assembly. The mission to reposition Abia State in the mainstream of Nigerian politics is still firmly in your hands. I have the confidence that Abians will once more prove their mettle and answer the clarion call by turning out in mass to win for PDP in the remaining two elections. I have so often repeated the fact that our opponents in the other parties are no match to our experience, integrity, and our love for Abians. They have never thought twice in their exploitation of our state. They have proved themselves as unpatriotic people who are anxious to keep their grip on political power for self-promotion and self-aggrandizement. That is why they can do anything to scuttle our nascent uh, democracy. I implore Abians to continue their unflinching support to us. You can do this by your massive votes cast to PDP and your massive turnout in the remaining elections. Complete the nails in their political coffins, put the opposition to final shame, roll over them and bury them finally in the polls. My fellow Abians, I must thank you again for your support 
and for finding us in PDP worthy of leading this new and emerging phase of Abia State. I promise that on our own part, we shall not fail you. The PDP governments you put into power, both at the federal and state level, will never fail you. Together, we can strengthen this government by all of us doing our parts in the remaining two elections and in the post-elections era. I urge you to go out massively on the election days and vote consistently and persistently for PDP so that the Abia will once more be truly God's own state. May God bless all of you, the good people of Abia State. May God bless Abia State, God's own state. May God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you and God bless all of us.